Ow. This happens every time. There's gotta be a better way. That was one of her more graceful kicks, actually. Yuma, it appears we are witnesses to a historical moment. Huh? I never would have imagined discovering an advanced civilization underneath Kanai Ward. There must be treasure sought by adventurers deep inside. Yes. Oh, if I had known this was here, I would have brought along a whip and hat. <laughs> Um, Fubuki, we're not underneath Kanai Ward. Oh, don't crush her dreams. She thinks she's in a movie of Indiana Jones. And that's what happened. That's it! Huh? This is exactly the adventure I have been seeking! Hidden treasure inside a labyrinth! Traps blocking our way! Dangerous monsters! This labyrinth is the adventure I was born to take on! I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. Does she really not get it? Well, that figures. So, you... You must be the god of darkness possessing Yuma! You got it all wrong! I'm not the god of darkness! I'm the god of death! Uh, she's like our guide for the mystery labyrinth. Right! If you defy me, I'll abandon you in here. I see. You're the guide to hell that dwells in the labyrinth. So you are the god of darkness. Then you are plotting to interfere with us. I will not yield to you. She doesn't get it at all. It's like she's not listening. This is why I hate naive, sheltered skanks. Naive? Sheltered? Pulling me a skank is one thing, but sheltered? Yuma, I swear I shall conquer this labyrinth. I cannot abide this vulgar god of darkness calling me naive and sheltered. But the other word was fine. All right. Thanks for the hydrate, Tommy. Um, Fubuki, please calm down. Anyway, Master, let's do it again. I don't want to do it again. We've got to put on a fiercer display than ever before for this sheltered skank. No! Fiercer than usual? Fubuki, just a heads up. Please don't take anything you're about to see in a weird way. How can you not take it in a weird way? <gasps> Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? I am. Solution blade. Absolutely not. <gasps> Here, I spat out the solution keys for you. I you are smuggling that many keys on you? You must be a serial burglar, God of Darkness. Your crimes are far worse than I first imagined. Seriously, you're such a dumb, sheltered skank. How do you hope to clear the mystery labyrinth like this? You called me sheltered again. There, there. Calm down. I refuse. I do not like conflict, but I will not stand idly by while being insulted. For the honor of the Clockford family name, I must fight. Sheesh, give me a break. Now, let's unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Our target is the true culprit who preys on the truth. I will not lose to the god of darkness. I will conquer this labyrinth sealed in shadow and find the hidden treasure deep within. This doesn't look very promising. 
<laughs> this is gonna be a long journey. If they keep arguing like that. I can see numbers. Whoa, whoa, why is there a timer? It looks like a countdown. I told you a million times. The mystery labyrinth is the materialized form of the case from the real world. Maybe this is a recreation of the countdown timer that caused you such a headache. You mean the bomb? Then if the timer reaches zero... It'll go kaboom! You and the whole mystery labyrinth will be blown to smithereens! Great, no pressure. <laughs> What's funny about that? Did you set up the bomb in this labyrinth? I see. A dirty trick. Befitting the god of darkness. Yuma, we must hurry. If we take too much time, the labyrinth will collapse along with the treasure inside. Let us make all haste to obtain the treasure and escape via waterfall out of the destroyed dungeon. Wait! It's not safe! Jeez. It's too dangerous for Fubuki to go alone. Although, maybe not. She could use her ability in an emergency. Should let you know. Vortes can't be used in here. Damn it. Huh? Really? That sheltered skank is just tagging along inside the mystery labyrinth. She won't be able to use her abilities. Oh, now I'm worried. Let's hurry after her. in the distance. mystery it, ah, it, she's already buried beneath them oh another round oddity over here a phantom found you you're a terrorist bomber murderer and a maggot who doesn't deserve to live you murdered shachi from the resistance didn't you killing your own people makes you dumber than dominic I didn't do it! When I got to the roof, Shachi was already dead! I can't hear you! Sorry, I don't listen to criminals! How horrifying! So these are the Labyrinth's monsters? You summon such dangerous creatures to block our path? Think what you want, but you can't move forward until you boom kill these things. Let us do it, Yuma! Hey, Dominic, you're good at doing laundry, right? Grab a washboard and give their filthy hearts a good scrub! <sighs> washboard, that's the word I was looking for earlier. Ye old washing machines. Shachi's gun, Shachi's action, security camera footage, probably. Most likely. Witnesses up there. 
The only one on the rooftop was you, Master, which means you're the only person who could have killed Shachi. What? But I didn't do it. Shachi had already been killed by the time I got to the roof. Then let's prove your innocence. I know you can do it, Master. Just in a minute. Ow. weren't any witnesses on the roof, so there is no contradiction there, right? I'm still thinking about that solution key. You were on the stairs when the gunshot rang out, weren't you, Master? That's right. Right, with this evidence I can deny I shot Shachi. Hmm. Just Has to be the camera. No, I'm not the one who shot him. I was still on the stairs when the gunshot went off. The security footage proves it. <laughs> the monsters retreated. Yuma, you defeated those monsters! Splendid! I respect you as a fellow adventurer. As a sign of my respect, may I call you the Warrior of Light? Warrior of Light? Sure, whatever you say. Uh, let's keep going. By the way, Yuma, why were they accusing you of being the culprit? Oh yeah, Fubuki, you don't remember the case. There was a murder, and I'm a suspect. <laughs> There's no way the Warrior of Light can be a murderer. I was seen under incriminating circumstances. Not only was I a suspected terrorist, but I was also spotted next to a corpse on the roof of a building. Was there no one else on the roof? Oh, wet socks. No one. There was nowhere to hide up there, and no other exits. Hmm, well, that does sound awfully suspicious, Yuma. Things would go much easier if you just confess. It wasn't me! I told you I didn't do it! Uh, we're sinking. Whoa, what's happening? I understand now. This place is going to sink very soon. I know that! I can float, so it's not a problem for me. But you two better figure something out quick. I know that too! We just need to solve the mystery, right? Hope you can swim! murder weapon was used in this case a different gun a different gun this way this is bad i'm losing my strength i can't hold out any longer i guess it was shachi's gun <laughs> well there was only one gunshot this is right this way Fine. 
Nice jump, Yuma. Come on, Bubuki. What's wrong? You need to jump over here. I am not very good at physical activity. Huh? I cannot do it. I like the confidence. Fubuki, you're an adventurer, aren't you? You should be able to jump this. You can do it. Thanks for the streamer care package, Tifei. Very well. I shall reach out as far as possible. Please catch me if I fail to make it. Oh my gosh. That was close. It's too early to relax. Come on, keep going. Thank you, Yuma. Something is off. I attempted to rewind time, but was unable to about that you can't use your abilities while inside the mystery labyrinth huh? is this the work of the god of darkness her brightening power has sealed away my forte <laughs> so you finally noticed i wish you'd quit trying to make things worse with your precious powers gone you're nothing but a hindrance in this labyrinth She's just gonna lead in, lean into the villainous role. Now stay put and keep out of trouble. Ugh. Hindrance. <sighs> About the murder weapon, the victim was killed by his own gun, right? Yeah, the muzzle of the gun at the crime scene was still hot, and I could smell gunpowder. Out of the six bullets loaded in it, only one of them had an empty shell. Which means the bullet that killed Shachi absolutely came from the gun he was holding. Fubuki? I am a hindrance. Oh, hun. What? Still thinking about that? You should have known that already. You can't solve mysteries, you can't use your abilities, you can barely move, you've got no courage, no resolve. So yeah, you're basically a hindrance, an obstacle. Now beat it before you drag Master down with you. <gasps> Fubuki, are you okay? I am fine. I can stand on my own. Yuma, I am terribly sorry. From here on, I shall make an effort to not cause you any trouble. You don't have to worry about it. If anything stands in our way, we'll work together to overcome it. No. This is something I must do on my own. I must become strong enough to take on the world before I can return to the Clockford family. Hey, looks like she's getting motivated. Sometimes playing the bad guy gets results. Playing? But you're always like this. I am curious. Are you really a detective in training, Yuma? You seem far more experienced with adventuring than I am. You even had the title of Warrior of Light. You gave me that title. You gave me that title, Fubuki. Master is an expert at getting dragged into other people's business. He's been forced around the block a few times. He's got a great mentor, too. In contrast, I have nothing besides the ability to wind back time. And my only merit is useless here. Crashes through the window. Defeat! Too bad, so sad. You're not gonna make it through here. Don't hurt yourself, please. them into mincemeat was it a mini series I 
I'm gonna did a one-off, but we might do more. Ooh, fun. Ash is not with me. Um, I don't know what I'm arguing. You didn't fire the gun. A friend Ow. Done it for you. You ordered your accomplice. The snake shot you. Probably this one. From someplace else. Your accomplice threw the gun over to you. shoot the victim was from the rooftop but that building was taller than the hideout if the victim was snatched from that height the gunshot wound would have been at an angle but the gunshot wound through his head was horizontal based on the gunshot wound it's impossible for the bullet to have traveled from the roof of the neighboring building <laughs> parallel to the roof the shooter must have been at the same height well it could be that the victim's head was at an angle at the time of impact unlikely but in that case we would have found the bullet lodged in the roof the monster hunters falsehoods to impede our progress but it's strange that they insist it was a homicide if i'm not the culprit it'd make more sense to rule it as a suicide that's because it is one. They're insisting it's a homicide to cover it up. <laughs> hmm. So you finally revealed your true nature, God of Darkness. Huh? Yuma, do not be swayed by this deceiver. This case is most assuredly a homicide. Assuredly? And what are you basing that on? The victim carried a gun, did he not? If so... He could have used it to combat the peacekeepers pursuing him. And yet, he hastily turned the gun on himself. I do not believe the victim was so cornered that he would commit suicide. <sighs> that actually makes sense. That's a good point. Even if he wanted to avoid using his gun, he could have at least used it to threaten them. So it must be a homicide. No, suicide. Homicide. Suicide. Rabbit season. Doors? suicide i see it as a homicide does yuma's blood contain holy powers and it illuminates this cursed labyrinth yuma you are more than the warrior of light you are the holy warrior of light sure that's fine let's focus on this problem i'm gonna end up with a paragraph of a title by the end we're by the end of this labyrinth is this a suicide or a homicide we need to narrow it down now it is clearly a homicide. Nuh uh It's totally a suicide! Right here!
That's a good sign. Right? I'm sure this is the right way. I knew it. This case had to be a homicide. If it was a homicide, someone else had to have been on the roof, right? But Master, you were on the emergency stairwell, and the peacekeepers were behind the door. Which means no one could have gotten off that roof. How did the culprit shoot the victim and get away? See? If it wasn't a suicide, then what happened? You better explain yourself. Very well, I shall. I completely agree with what Yuma said. I didn't say anything yet. I didn't say anything. So what do you think, Master? You mean why I think it's a homicide? Uh, I don't really have a solid reason why yet. We're trapped! Set up. The mystery labyrinth won't wait forever, you know. I, I know, but Yuma. If it was in fact a homicide, there would be some clue left behind to the crime scene. If I can just remember something. Oh, like this. <laughs> oh. Here, this is everything left. The, the umbrella. Scene. Maybe the um, this is out there. This is grasping. Uh, maybe the bullet ricocheted off of something to make it a parallel shot. I, I'm sure there's a clue pointing to a homicide hidden here. We do not have much time. Please hurry, Yuma. There must be something suspicious. Something that stands out. There has to be a clue. I have to find it. The umbrella? Wait, what if I use the umbrella? What will you do with that? I can... Use it like a rod for a brace! I see! Oh wait, how will that stop anything? Could you put that creativity to better use, please? You serious, master! Okay, that was silly. The gun itself? I know it's this. This has to be related to the murder. Oh, the ball stopped. Looks like it's the right one. That is the gun that fired the fatal shot, right? But how can you determine it was a homicide? There's something unique about this gun. A revolver cylinder normally swings out to the left. But the gun found at the scene swings out to the right. I see. That is unusual. It is incredible how you even noticed it. How is that relevant? I'm not a gun enthusiast. I don't know why that's relevant. You really are the holy great detective warrior of light, Yuma. It got even longer. Oh, well, anyway, this gun was apparently custom made for Shachi. The jump shot geezer said that too. How does that prove this was a homicide? I don't know anything else about it. I just figured this was kind of out of place. <laughs> uh, it's happening again? Of course. You haven't solved the mystery itself. Yuma, over there! Did you try shooting it with the gun? Hi, Frost. Uh, I'm no marksman. Oh, but it could work inside the mystery labyrinth. If this gun is the answer... Huh? It's not loaded? If you can't shoot it, then you're still missing something. Something? Do you mean, like, why I think this gun is out of place? I can't shoot the gun until I figure that out? Will Yuma? Did you solve it? It's a- I'm going with it's a left-handed gun, but it was found in his right hand. 
Oh good, the sidekick is gone. Yeah, I switched him. I switched him for a different sidekick. Why was Shachi's gun built like this in the first place? The reason why you must be relevant. Hmm. Are you saying you need my help to solve this? Oh fine. Since you're so good at begging, I don't mind helping you out one bit. Here we go! Lay it all out. Beach episode! Have a left-handed gun? Oh no no no! It's um, it's the narrative. I've I've been switching detective partners every chapter. Looking at his gun, you can tell Shachi's dominant hand is his left. That's right. Nice. Nice. Ugh, everything's on the top row. That's right. But the gun was in his right hand. Gosh, that's extra. That's it! It's because he was left-handed! The reason the cylinder swings out to the right is to let him reload while still holding the gun in his left hand. If he was right-handed, it would be very difficult to reload if the cylinder swings out to the right. Hey, I was on to something. This game is extra. Fact. If Shachi was right-handed, he wouldn't have commissioned his gun to be designed this way. Which means Shachi is left-handed. What? But we'd all be flattened by now if it wasn't for my assist. Uh, I will never believe the God of Darkness could willingly lend a helping hand. Sure, say what you want. Anyway, let's hurry. Countdown is still going. <laughs> right. It looks like the numbers gone down by a lot. We were so close to figuring out this mystery. Oh, let's hurry it up faster. Yeah, got it. <laughs> he barely fits. Alrighty, we're here as your official roadblock. Huh? You wanna know why? Because the homicide route ends here. That shachi terrorist committed suicide. After all, right, Dominic? <sighs> you kept insisting it was a homicide earlier, but now you're going with the suicide theory? These monsters are cheaters. Ever the contrarians. Maybe they're cheaters because they're monsters. Are you defending the monsters? Curse you, God of Darkness! Queen of Monsters! I'm not defending them. I can't even follow this whole monsters and God of Darkness story you have going. Now is not the time to be fighting! Is he wearing an apron? Yes. <laughs> Bad luck. I have no truth flames. Cool. Just give up. Master. 
there should be a contradiction somewhere. You gotta find it and repel it. Yeah. Okay, I'll try. Being left handed. This the gun was designed for the left hand. You can still oh, shoot yourself. Shachi shot himself with a gun in his dominant hand. Men now. Shachi was left handed. But he was found dead with a gun in his... There's no reason he'd use his non-dominant hand to commit suicide. It's an obvious contradiction. When the culprit tried to make it appear like a suicide, they put the gun in the wrong hand. Which means someone else was involved in Shachi's death. This death was a setup. It's a homicide. Hmm. Okay. Which makes me think it's, it's not gun enthusiast girl because she designed the gun. So she would know that it was a left-handed gun. <laughs> Doubting her was too obvious. You managed once again to slay the monsters. That confirms it. The homicide route was the correct one. Seems like it. I guess I can admit defeat here. Huh? The God of Darkness admitting defeat? Perhaps she has an honest side. No, it cannot be. Could this be an illusion she conjured forth? You know, I don't really care. So long as we keep solving mysteries. Just keep helping my master out for a bit longer. <sighs> Let's carry on for now. made a pretty cliche mistake getting the victim's dominant hand wrong. Perhaps the culprit doesn't know that Shachi's custom gun was designed for someone left-handed. Shachi rarely carried his gun, so they probably never saw him hold it. Huh. Why would he go through the trouble of getting a custom gun that he never intended to use? Deep down, do you think he was just like any other violent terrorist? Maybe the gun was a gift. A gift? From whom? A woman named Iruka manages the Resistance's weapons. She was the one who designed it. Gifting a gun is so romantic. It delights my adventurer's heart. It does? Well, thanks to the culprit's mistake, we now know this was a homicide. But we still have a lot of unanswered questions. Uh oh. Two more doors, three doors even. <laughs> where did the culprit shoot the victim from? Point blank. The location where the culprit shot Shachi. Roof of the hideout, inside the hideout, roof of the building, next door. Yep, even if this case is a homicide, that's still a mystery. 
But if you know it was, in fact, a homicide, then the answer has to be here. I have no idea what it could be, but I am confident that you can discover the answer. For you are he who tames the god of darkness, holy great detective warrior of light Yuma! I'm not gonna remember my title. Um, how long is my name going to get? It's the only logical answer. was the right answer, but... If he was shot on the roof, doesn't that mean the culprit was also on the roof? The culprit placed the gun in Shachi's hand to make it look like a suicide. That means they had to be there in person. The culprit was definitely on that roof. Where could they have gone in the 10 seconds it took us to climb the stairs? But Yuma, you said nobody was there when you arrived. That's what we have to figure out now. When I heard the shot, I was halfway up the emergency stairs. It took about 10 seconds to reach the roof. And in that time, the culprit vanished like a cloud of smoke from the scene. Where could the murderer have gone? Could they have squeezed themselves behind there? We're back at the crime scene. Follow the culprit's escape route. Follow the culprit's escape route? We need to escape in the same way the culprit did after committing the crime. Okay, so. We ruled out this way because there's no rope unless they had like super quick footwork and managed to jump across during the explosion. Um, or they like went bop 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 down this wall. They couldn't have gone through there because it was locked. They couldn't have gone through there because they would have crossed us. This isn't an option. Let's go over here. Is it easier to imagine using a rope or some other tool to escape to the neighboring building? Or perhaps they used a hot air balloon? The culprit must be quite the adventurous thrill seeker. No, we ruled out hot air balloon. But those high voltage lines would get in the way. You'd never reach the next building without touching them. Oh, so the culprit is not an adventurer? That's what you're disappointed about? Okay, what about over here? Though it is fairly high, would it not be possible to climb down from here on a rope or ladder? How did they collect the rope or ladder, though? There's nowhere to hang something like that onto. Plus, from this height, it'd take a while to get all the way down like that. It'd be tough for someone to get down, and gather their equipment in the short time it took me to reach the roof. You probably couldn't jump down onto a mat from this height either. You'd die no matter how you landed. What if the explosion was to cover up anything, any cushioning? Ah, so the culprit escaped via the emergency stairs. As the culprit was in a state of emergency, it is only natural that they would make use of emergency stairs. Wait, wait. Master was up ahead, right? There's no way the culprit could have escaped without bumping into him. What are you saying? Yuma is right here, is he not? I mean, when the crime happened. Gee, the sheltered skank and her 
empty head are killing me here. Y yet again, you called me sheltered. Hey, I'm, I'm just telling you like it is. is. Sheltered there. there. Sheltered there. I don't know if the culprit realized I was there. The footage from the security camera positioned here didn't show anybody around. Which makes it hard to imagine that the culprit escaped from here. I guess we have to rule out all four. Is it easier to imagine that the criminal simply went back inside through this door? No, that's impossible. At the time of the incidents, the peacekeepers were on the other side of it. I see. If the culprit had gone inside through here, they would have been apprehended by those peacekeepers. Well, it's safe to say this wasn't the escape route. We can't figure out how the culprit got off the rooftop. <laughs> this is terrible. This isn't funny. At this rate, we'll run out of time. What are we supposed to do? There's no other way besides finding the culprit's escape route. That's how it is in the mystery labyrinth. Where are the entrances for cast members and the hidden entryways for maintenance crews? This isn't an attraction at some theme park. Well then, why do you hunt Yuma if you cannot even do your job and guide him? A god of darkness who cannot guide you is just a directionless god of darkness. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're a stupid sheltered skank that's completely useless. Y you called me sheltered again? How many times is that now? Um, let's see. After the number three comes... Seriously, Seriously? are you Be dead? Quiet, please? please, head on After right. Three? The culprit must have been on the roof when they committed the crime. They escaped somehow. But how? There aren't any other clues at the crime scene. Wait, if nothing was there, what if the culprit destroyed evidence? Thank you. What? Destroyed evidence? Then leave it to yours truly. I'll wring it out of your mind, master. You're going to recreate the crime scene again? If you don't remember it, then I've got no choice. I'll make it a gentle beating this time around. So, which memory do you want beaten out of you? When the body was discovered, when the rooftop was first entered. What's the difference? When it was first entered. How about when Shachi first called me up to the rooftop? The culprit wouldn't have done anything to the scene yet. I can even compare it to when I found the corpse. Alrighty, leave it to me! What is this daunting aura I sense? What are your intentions here? Let's do it, it, it can't be! Oh, Ow! Okay, hey, let's look over the edge. I have an idea. Are you all right, Yuma? I, I'm in so much pain. I feel like I'm going to pass out. The corpse is gone. But nothing else has really changed about this place. I believe all that happened was you were assaulted, Yuma. Not much time passed between when you first reached the rooftop and when you discovered the corpse. If nothing changed, then there are no clues here for you to use. Hang on, there must be something. Something that the culprit destroyed to cover their tracks. I wrenched this memory out of your tiny brain, so you don't have much time left to look around. Your time limit is until the pain in your head goes away. You better hurry up and investigate. Got it. I'll hurry. Oof. Okay, look over the edge. like there's no place to hang a rope off of. There's nothing of note on this side of the wall. Mm hmm? What is that? A storm drain? Has that always been there? It was swimming guy. Oh, right. The explosion. The explosion that happened right after I found the body. 
must have buried it in rubble. So the drain was covered after a mysterious explosion. Swimming guy. Find anything, Master? Yeah, I might have found a clue that shows how the culprit escaped. Really? You did it, Yuma! Mm. Mystery phantoms! Chirp, 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 chirp! I was curious what all the tweeting was about. You're still fantasizing about all this nonsense? He committed suicide! There's nobody to pursue! After all, there's no place a culprit could run to. No one can run off a rooftop! No one could escape the rooftop. Which means if you can disprove that, then we'll defeat them and press forward. No, he fits the bill for everything else. He ratted us out. Oh, so bright up here. Why isn't it raining? to refute that there's no other culprit no one could have left that rooftop that claim doesn't hold up no there is a culprit there's a way to escape from the roof too oh such a drag you're still talking about that what a downer Head of the roof, drain, high voltage lines, drain. The culprit had to be on the roof if it's not suicide. So, where did the culprit go? You can't escape through the roof door. Oh, down, 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 down. There is a way out. The drain directly below the rooftop. Don't let any shady statements slip by. RDM options. Mystery phantoms will ask a riddle from time to time. Read the question carefully and counter by repelling the words of the answer you think is right. Read the question carefully and counter by repelling the words of the answer you think is right. from the roof that was the culprit's escape route I wasn't sure about that as well, but if the explosion was used to destroy evidence, 
I think that has to be the case. The culprit opened the storm drain's grates beforehand and jumped from the roof right after committing the crime. The Doya district was flooded, so naturally the drain would have been filled with water. Then, the culprit swam away. Hmm, it would only take a few seconds to escape the roof that way. So the culprit used a bomb to blow up the area, which covered up the evidence of their escape. Why? We defeated these monsters already! The problem here was follow the culprit's escape route. So we have to leap into the drain just like the culprit did? Uh, I have to jump from up here? And now more drains have suddenly appeared! What is happening? Faster! You have to make up your mind and jump! I'm already falling! Who was capable of committing this crime? Uh, resistance leader. This way. How how did she start spinning? How did she do these things? Oh, we actually made it. <sighs> I felt as if my heart would jump out of my chest. But we managed to get down. It's not over yet. Look over there! Hmm, I wonder who it could be. <laughs> Looks like all the suspects are here! Must we fight all of them? Even Yuma cannot face four foes at once. Uh, they fled! Then we better chase after them! Chase scenes are common in adventures, but are you certain the culprit is among them? There are only two ways the culprit could get a hold of Shachi's gun, the murder weapon. Either steal it from the safe or get it from Shachi himself. In any case, the only ones who could have done it are members of the resistance. Is it possible the culprit took the victim's gun by force? If so, a complete stranger could have done it. But if someone tried to take his gun, I'm sure Shachi would have drawn it and threatened them. If so, Culprit would have realized their target was left-handed. I see. That would conflict with a cover-up attempted at the crime scene. Um. Excuse me. Where do I go? Oh, okay. Also, the culprit issued a proclamation on behalf of the resistance against the peacekeepers. At the time, I didn't understand why it was sent to the peacekeepers, but it must have been to corner Shachi by steering the peacekeepers toward the hideout. The culprit then ambushed him when he arrived on the roof. Which means the culprit anticipated the target fleeing up there. Perhaps it was a planned escape route the resistance had decided on beforehand. If they fled using the emergency stairs, it would be easy to shake out pursuers. As a matter of fact, the peacekeepers were held up there. If he hadn't been killed, he would have escaped. So all of it was calculated. Whoever it is, they are truly frightened. And that culprit is among them? We organize all the clues we've got so far. We can narrow down who the culprit is. But how long will they keep running? At this rate, there's no end in sight. Faster! Over there! A giant water tank? In here, you always find the culprit if you keep solving mysteries. So the only way to catch up to them is... to solve mysteries! Huh? What would be necessary for the culprit to commit the crime? Left handed, be good at swimming.
In order to commit this crime, the most important requirement is to be an excellent swimmer. Jumping from that height into a storm drain would also require training and experience. Maybe they had high diving experience through swimming competitions. We finally caught up! The truth is crystal clear. The one who murdered Shachi... That's okay, I know you can't swim. I didn't kill anyone. It's you, Hikari! You took advantage of your swimming skills to murder Shachi! Huh? W what? Uh, no! That's insane! I'm not the culprit! That's bullshit! Didn't kill Shachi! I'm not the culprit! Such a foreboding presence. Is this the true identity of the final monster protecting the hidden treasure? But most of the mystery has already been solved. This is just its last stand. Master, let's solve this thing once and for all! Right! His talent. I am not, not the culprit. Where's your evidence? There are other resistance. To oh, okay. I mean, that was my evidence, but I should probably let you talk some more. I don't think there's enough evidence to declare Cardi as the culprit. For now, for now, maybe we'd be better off proving Margalaw couldn't have done it. Yeah, like something that shows he was somewhere else at the time of the murder. Well, thank you for giving me the answer. I'm not the culprit. Where's your evidence? There are other resistance members. I know. Margola is the culprit. Margola shot Shachi on the roof. This is the truth. Margala has an alibi. It's impossible for him to have done it. Next. If it's not Margala, then Iruka is the culprit. Iruka. Iruka knows about the design of the gun. Why is that wrong? You don't have any, anything to- ugh, You don't have anything that can prove Iruka didn't kill Shachi, do you, Master? Oh, but what about that solution key? Didn't Iruka know Shachi was left-handed? Is that not the one that I used? If Iruka was the murderer, she would have put the gun in his left hand. Oh gosh, I had to jump. And made it look like suicide. through this mystery. <clears throat> Next, wanna throw another ac ac accusation at me? Iruka designed the handgun, so she knew Shachi was left-handed. She never would have made that mistake faking his suicide. Not Margo. It's not Iruka. But you still can't say I'm the culprit. The culprit is Servan. He killed Chachi on the roof and messed 
with the corpse. Then escape through the drain. No, he's afraid of water. After once nearly drowning, so there's no way he would have dove into a drain. because we don't have a solid overall picture of the case. The overall picture? Like, what's the motive? Is it because Shachi was getting soft? There's no mistake that Ikari made Shachi's murder look like a suicide, but we don't know why he did it. If he wanted to kill him, there are simpler ways to do it. Why bring the peacekeepers into this? So we need to find the motive. As long as that's an unknown, we won't reach the truth. Hmm? The water is flowing somewhere. Oh, so it is. I wonder where it is heading. The water flows somewhere. If the mystery labyrinth is a reflection of reality, the flow of water may have some significance. Then let's see where it leads us. This could be the path to the hidden treasure. You know, so this slow. seems to involve water an awful lot. The slums where the crime took place are flooded, like the entire commercial area. Right. Given that, the truth should be wherever the water leads. Why flood the commercial area? Make it easier for him to tra to, to move around? Dead end? And this countdown timer... Looks like it's linked to that countdown, and it's dropping by a lot. Hey, Master? Maybe this isn't a dead end. Maybe it's a giant bomb! Huh? What? Oh my! What a big, breathtaking bomb! I cannot help but be impressed! You shouldn't be! I'm sure this is the heart of this mystery labyrinth. So there's only one thing left to do. Master, you just gotta defuse this bomb, too! Like how you did in the real world! This... giant... bomb? If you can solve the mystery, the bomb will stop ticking! So really, it's no different from what you've been doing! Just don't give me a 2D to 3D puzzle. Good luck, Yuma! I am confident that you can do it! For you are the elite bomb diffuser, he who tames the god of darkness, holy great detective warrior of light, Yuma! You'll be fine, Master! You've got the best mentor there is! Okay, I'll try. What was the purpose of the bombing? Indiscriminate terrorism, call to revolution, diversion, diversion. Destruction. They just wanted to frame me as a terrorist to put the peacekeepers' attention on me. That's why they set up such a complex, time-consuming puzzle 
that had me running all around Tanai Ward. Um, I meant I just wanted to know the definition of the word diversion. What? I have to start there? Look, you can find her a dictionary later. For now, you've got to defuse that bomb. Uh, right. I apologize, Yuma. If only I could use my forte. There's no need to apologize. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here right now. Yuma. Master, you're too reliant on others. It's about time you start doing things on your own. Well, I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. You believe? The god of darkness believes in Yuma? Focus! You're out of time, Master! Defuse this bomb! <laughs> What was the culprit doing during the diversion? Exploding the dam? Why are there no options? Use a solution key. Um, power plant office. Flooded the district. Flooded the district? Uh, creepy. I never want to see that on another door ever again. So the culprit's <laughs> real goal was to flood Marunaman district. They used the bomb threat to draw the peacekeeper's attention toward me. Meanwhile, the culprit sabotaged the valves of the power plants and the reservoir to flood Marunaman district. What's the point in doing that? Perhaps they wish to sow chaos throughout the city. The resistance was challenging the peacekeepers. Then why not just detonate the bombs? A lot simpler than flooding the place. Less casualties. He sent a warning. If their goal was to cause chaos, they could have just used the bombs. Considering that, the culprit must not have wanted to destroy the place. Please hear me out. This was Shachi's wish. Shachi's wish? Shachi was always fighting for the sake of Kanai Ward. He wanted to close the gap between the rich and poor. Wanted to reduce the suffering of children. This mission was to flood Marunaman district to send the rich a message. But flooding the place is just terrorism. It would only make them angry, not actually accomplish anything. So Shachi decided to offer up his life. He wanted me to kill him. To make it look like the peacekeepers did it. <sighs> Shachi gave his life for this mission. If you expose the truth, this would all be for nothing. Are you really going to disregard his dying wish? And his sacrifice? If he wanted to make it look like the peacekeepers did it, then why'd you put the gun in his hand? Now that you see the truth, please... Just leave! Very well. I understand your circumstances. We shall take our leave. No. That's a lie! Shachi didn't want this! We're... How would you know? You know nothing about the Resistance! I've heard him speak! Shachi valued human lives more than anything! The Resistance isn't a terrorist group. We don't kill people. We won't fight them with violence. It would only lead to more lives lost. We're gonna take them down the right way. The Resistance are not terrorists. Shachi wouldn't resort to something as foul as this! Sacrifice? Dying wish? How dare you lie about that? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Yeah. You will pay for this. I'll expose the truth and defend Shachi's honor!
I never used the safe uh, solution key. No, okay. I need to read my clues again. Ugh, it wasn't this one. What did Shachi want to do anyway? Did he really choose to sacrifice himself? Then why would he flood Marun Marunomon District? That's right. I'm sure that was the real objective. Hmm? What? What do you want? What do you mean? It was something we saw on the way to the power plant. Flooding that area caused several of them to float out. The culprit's true objective must have been to steal them. The safes? The things that I was questioning I hadn't used yet? This is the truth of the case! That's it? Maybe it's because of the last case, but I uh, assumed that he would have put up a bit more of a fight. Your plan has nothing to do with Shachi or the Resistance. You just wanted to take the safes! Huh? Safes? Many facilities in Marunomon District use safes made by Amaterasu Corporation, including the bank. These safes are completely airtight, and they can actually float on water. Oh! We did see some safes floating around Marunomon District. The culprit knew they could float, and planned to exploit that to steal all the safes from the bank. This was an elaborate scheme to steal from the bank? The safes would normally be too heavy to move, but they'd be easy to take if they were floating. So, it was a bank heist? Yes, that's right. That's the truth behind this case. You took advantage of Kanai Ward's unique features in your plan to rob the bank. This isn't what the Resistance believed in. In fact, you took advantage of their beliefs. Well, I'm not going to feel bad about taking this guy's life. You did it, Master. Now that we've exposed the truth of this case, we just need to finish off that filthy criminal. Right. Let's finish this. For Shachi. Let's go, Shinigami. I'll charge my solution blade with the facts of this case.
kill the good guy to steal money from the rich and potentially kill innocent bystanders. What do you think I set up for the resistance? Um, bombs! Uh, phone. I have a phone booth and submergence. Okay, we gotta go forward. Phone booth, phone booth. What did the culprit do in Marnamon? Uh, submerge it. Where did the culprit- what other keys did I get? Shachi's right hand. And Shachi's gun. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, oh, where did the bombing occur? What weapon did the culprit up- Probably where did he put it? What did we install? Robin Hood with collateral damage? Essentially. Not a plan that I can get behind. whole district hate your oper your um your operation even more the end justifies the means sometimes you know <laughs> but it would make the peacekeepers out to get their group even more i don't know i can't get behind it in his character bio it does say that he is apathetic towards other humans so, like, he, he had no remorse when he did this. Get out of here with your logic. I'm playing a detective game. It all started with a request from the Resistance. Shachi asked me to set up security cameras around the city. We got those cameras from someone by the name of Sirvan. But they had bombs inside them. I had no idea. So I set up those camera bombs all around the city. The culprit hijacked Shachi's original plan and conducted a series of crimes. But Sirvan must have had some kind of implication in this, right? Because his specialty was making bombs, and he told us that these were cameras. Unless he was lied to. The bomb set up in the phone booth of Marnamont District exploded first. But even then, he's a huge techie. He probably would have caught on to it. Luckily, there were no casualties. But... The culprit also bombs the drain in Marnamont district at the same time. Someone snitched and said you were responsible. But that must have been the culprit too. Since the peacekeepers' eyes were on me, it made it easier to pull off the rest of their crimes. The culprit took Shachi's gun and went to the roof of the resistance hideout in Doya district. Shachi followed soon after. I saw him being chased by the peacekeepers. The culprit was waiting there to ambush him. I was heading up the emergency stairs to the roof, but along the way... Bang! We heard a ringing gunshot! Shachi was ambushed by the culprit and shot to death. Once it was finished, they placed the gun in Shachi's right hand to make it look like a suicide. Cover 
are set up, the culprit jumped into the open drain and escaped from the roof unseen. I thought it was impossible to jump off the roof. But the area was already flooded, so the drain was filled with water. Right after the escape, I arrived on the rooftop and discovered Shachi's body. And kaboom! The hideout exploded! The drain was buried in the rubble from this explosion. A bomb had been set in advance to hide the killer's escape. After that, we all went around town trying to defuse the bombs. Culprit took advantage of the chaos to open the valve of the reservoir upstream from the power plant. Since the drain had been dammed in the explosion, when all that backed up water had even more added to it, Marinamon District became totally drenched and shitty. Right, it became a drenched city. Marinamon District is now flooded. Many facilities have safes made by Amaterasu Corporation. The banks are no exception. These safes are heavy and difficult to move, but because they're so airtight, they can float on water. As a result, they all floated out of the flooded banks. Collecting these safes was the culprit's true goal. Sinking an entire district just to be a small-time looter. I can't tell if the guy thinks big or small. Extreme. The only ones who could commit these crimes were the resistance leaders with access to Shachi's gun. And only one guy was a good enough swimmer to dive right into the drain. Shachi really did try to save this city. But the culprit not only took over his plan, but killed and framed him. This criminal lost his pride and dignity as a member of the Resistance, becoming nothing more than a money grubber. And his true identity is... Icardi! It was you! I hate this city. I was sick of all of Shachi's idealistic nonsense. Fighting the peacekeepers wouldn't have changed anything. That's why. I was gonna take the money and get out of here. Ow. It's this city that's wrong. This rotten place. Is this the hidden treasure? It is far different than what I was imagining. I think so. I felt the same way when I first saw one. Sounds like Gotham? E yeah. Wait, is Gotham closed off to the world? So, this is it. I was not much help after all. I relied on you the entire time, Yuma. No? Okay. So it's like Gotham, but it's closed off to the rest of the world. Might as well be. Might as well be. I mean, everyone's crazy in this town. That's not true. You're a great partner, Fubuki. <sighs> really? Yeah, really. I am grateful to have joined you on this adventure, Yuma. I think it helped me grow as a person. Just a little bit. Well, you are gonna forget all of it soon. Huh? What? I am sorry for being so rude to you. What? I assumed you were a vulgar god of darkness, based solely on your looks. 
Yeah, that's pretty rude of you. But now I realize that you have been a wonderful guide. When you said you believed in Yuma, I realized there was a bond of trust between the two of you. And now, frankly, I adore you. Please consider being my friend. Uh, She's blushing. You're gonna forget it all anyway. Yuma, while I may be ignorant and naive, one day, I hope to be a great adventurer and detective. She is like vulgar, you. that's not wrong. It's true. A labyrinth delving elite bomb diffuser, he who tames the god of darkness, holy great detective warrior of light. Yes, I finally take up a whole speech bubble. You truly are amazing, Yuma. That title is getting way too long. Enough chit chat. It's time for the part you've all been waiting for. <sighs> huh? What is it? What is about to happen? Wait a minute. Do you mean we are going to leap into the basin? No. It's time to boot kill the bad guy. Bloodlust, overflowing despair, the crimson soul to the body. Shall we sponge this cursed gate? 